Hello, how's everybody doing? My name is Sylvia Garanzak and I'm a Gel Moment Independent Distributor. I am here to talk about these comic book nails, pop-up nails, whatever you want to call it nails. They are fun. I've had this on for 17 days now and I just have a little bit of wear of the black on the tips, but that's it. I am not ready to let these go, but um, I mean, eventually they're going to have to go. I've got quite a bit of growth. So I'm here to show you how to do this. Now, the first thing I did is I just put two coats of your color. So whatever, whatever you do, the first, the very first step that you're going to put on your nails is whatever color that you want as your base. You're going to paint your entire nail that color. So here I have Morning Glory, Minchilato, Dove Right In, and Sorbetto Alemone. Yes, I had to plug in the, I know the Italian words because I, I, I love, I love the accent. Anyway, so here I have Bridesmaid here. So the first step we're going to be doing is taking a little bit of Raven's Kiss or the black and doing an outline. Okay, so let's get right to it. Okay, I have a little bit of Raven's Kiss right here and I have this medium striper brush that we have in our creativity kit. And what you're going to do is just moisten, <laughs> coat all the bristles with the black and then start outlining the nails like I have here. Okay, a couple of tips when you're outlining your nails. So if your nails are more flat, then your nail outline can be the black with the black can be a little bit thinner. I'm just going to pop this under the lamp while I'm talking here. My nails curl. So I have really curvy nails. They're not curls. They don't curl. Sorry, they have really curly nails. So I found that in order for the for you to be able to see the black on the edge, I actually had to make them a little bit thicker because it goes so deep. I when I had the thin black line, I found that it disappeared. So I had to bring it a little bit more this way so that when you're looking straight on, you can actually see the black everywhere there. So that is my tip there and make sure that you cap the edge as well. So like I said, this manicure is 17 days old. I still have the capping on this one just so that you don't see the color popping through on the edge. Okay. So, well, okay. So the next step is to create the artificial shade on the nails. So here you see that I have a little bit of a this is actually Beauty Queen and Center Stage mixed together to create that shade on the nail, which is just a shade darker than what the um, nail color that you have on the whole entire nail is. So I've mixed it with, I've tried to mix it with, uh, this is Bridesmaid, sorry, with Raven's Kiss. And I found that it ended up being very um, gray. So what I ended up doing was taking Morning Glory, which is just a shade darker than, or a couple shades darker than our Bridesmaid. And I mixed these two together and I find that this created the shade that I wanted to create that shadow on the nail. So I'm just using a dotting tool here to mix it all up and then I'm going to use that same striper brush to create the shade. Okay, when you're doing this, you want to start from the middle of the nail and apply a little bit more pressure and then you're going to lighten up the pressure on the brush so that it ends up having a tapered line near the end. There. So I'm just going to put it a little bit more because I want it to be a little bit thicker. And that's it. We'll give that a cure to create the reflection on the nail, which is just this part right here where it looks like light is shining on your nail. I have lovey dovey mixed in with a little bit of stamping white stamping gel here. I find that it just pops the white pops a little bit more and you just need one swipe as opposed to using lovey dovey and doing two swipes to get that nice white. So we're just going to go parallel or yeah, parallel to this shadow line, but on the other side, stay away from the black if you can. So have a little bit of space in between. Apply a little bit of pressure, ease up on your brush, and then you have the look right here. Okay, so then we will take a dotting tool, a small end of dotting tool here, and take a little bit and just do a quick little dot, okay? Now to finish this off, I'm gonna take this super thin striper brush that we have, dip it into Raven's Kiss, and draw a very thin line on the inside of this shaded side here. Sorry, I can't talk and paint at the same time when it's really fine lines. <laughs> so we're just gonna give this a full cure under the lamp. And there you have it, the finished product. So it does involve a little bit of steps, but when you break it all down, it's actually quite manageable. 
uh, I love it. <laughs> and so I actually wanted to show you, even though it's on square, I, I got my hands on these nice rounded tips. I love the almond tip because that's normally what my nails are. But I did a few, the same colors that I used here, whoops, out of order, but the same colors that I used, um, but with the matte on it. And look at the difference. So you tell me in the comments, let me know if you like the shiny or the matte look. I can't decide. I went with shiny. Uh, but I really love the matte look too because it really pops. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and uh, be prepared for my next video that's coming up. All right, ciao, ciao for now.